Antonio Senzatella, as we noted, has had great success in his career against the Padres, a 7 and 2 record. And check this out a 308 earned run average. That's the best he has against any NL West opponent. But at Coors Field, even better at 261 against San Diego historically. 1 2, swung on a miss. That's a nice start. 95 mile an hour fastball. Um, and he stayed out of the middle of the strike zone, which is paramount for any pitcher, but uh, particularly for Senza. The Nelson Lamette on the mound tonight for San Diego. 28 year old making his third start. Each of the first two, two innings. 29 pitches, 30 pitches. Here's Hampson. Tapia with wheels at first. He takes off, and the throw by Nola is not going to get him. Great jump by Rymel. So the Rockies quickly have a runner in scoring position. This ball out to deep right field. Myers back at the wall to make the catch up against the wall. Tapia will tag up and move over to third base on the long fly out to right field. And hopefully Myers is okay. Get up against the wall and got his elbow. Pretty good, it looks like, on the wall making that catch. One out, and Tapia has moved over to third base. Here's Charlie Blackman. And that'll get the job done. Kim throws out Blackman. Charlie's got his 20th RBI, and the Rockies truly manufacture a run. A walk, a stolen base, a move up, a ground ball with the infield back, and it's 1 0 home team. Watching it from up here, but off the bat, you know, wait for the exit velocity and the that's line toward Charlie. He slides and makes the catch. Well, you can't hit it harder than that if you're Tommy Pham. And Charlie made a very fine play in right. Two gone. He's up Connor Joe. One two pitch. And a swing and a miss. So there you go. That's a good slider right there. Oh yeah. First strikeout for Denelson Lament. Two down. Here's the one and two reach for and set in the air shallow right field. And Trent Grisham over to come and get it. Center fielder makes the catch. That's all for the Rockies in the bottom of the second. First walk handed out by Senzatella. Loads the bases for San Diego. And gives Hassan Kim a chance. Senzatella ready. There go the runners. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Senzatella keeps the Padres off the scoreboard with a big strikeout. So two down and Cronenworth at second base for Manny Machado. This one is to deep left field and gone. Home run for Manny Machado, his fifth of the year. A two-run shot that propels the Padres over the Rockies. It's two to one. Some two-out magic for the Friars. Well, that was a no-doubter. This ball is absolutely crushed. It's a hanging slider right down the middle. You know that sound? Ooh. Sends shivers up and down the spines of opposing pitchers. Padres trying to squeeze another inning out of Miguel Diaz here, who has been terrific once again. You don't want to get a letter. 2-1, grounded sharply to Kim. He comes up with it to second for one. On to first. In time, double play. Oh, ha Sung Kim. If this game was in San Diego, we'd be hanging a star. 6-4-3, to four to three, and the inning is over. Looking for more with runners at the corners and nobody out here in the visiting half of the sixth inning. And into the game is Tyler Kenley. Well, he's a ground ball pitcher about 50% of the time. He'll get a grounder 30 years old, throws a slider, the four seamer at 95, and a changeup. Enters his 14th game. A lot of walks, though. 10 free passes. Austin Nola coming up here with runners at the corners. In the air to center field. Hampson back there. Will make the catch. Tagging at third base is Marcano. Throw will go to third base, and both were able to tag up. Run scores. Padres have a 3 1 lead. So Marcano scores on the sack fly. Fan moves over to third base. One out, another runner. 90 feet away for Hassan Kim. Sharply hit to short. Story's coming home. The tag not there. Safe. At the plate is Tommy Pham, and the Padres take a 4-1 lead. Infield was in, and Story, it's tough to get much on that throw from where he threw it. And Pham gets in with a fourth Padres run. Contact play. Contact is made. You are off no matter what. A, a tremendous play by Trevor Story. 
And you're, you're right, Don, from his knees. So he really couldn't get much behind it. Foot on home plate before the tag is applied. And the Padres are adding on. But the bases are loaded here. There are two outs. The Padres have already added to their lead. It's 4-1 to one, San Diego. Manny, the eighth man to bat this inning, hit a two-run homer last inning. Machado sends one out towards right center field. That ball will be away from the center fielder, Hampson, and will clear the bases. Three runs will score on the triple for Manny Machado that puts the Padres on top, 7-1. to one. A gapper to right center field for Manny. See how nice and easy Manny swings at this ball and lets the bat and his strength do the work. Just out of the reach of Hampson. What a great effort. He knows he's got to catch that ball. He's got to lay out just out of his reach. Everybody's off and running because it's time to party. Three and two, bases loaded, two outs. Oh, it's a party, all right. Pop the corks. Is there a Cosmer bats now? 440 with two outs and runners in scoring position. You got Machado at third. This one is lined to left field, a base hit. Machado will score, and the Padres take an 8-1 lead. A six-run sixth inning so far for the Padres. Here is Charlie Blackman, who is 0 for 3 in the ball game tonight. Blackman grounds it softly, first base way, and Lynn getting over his hill. Not in time. Blackman will beat it out. A little late reaction there from Hill to get off the hill. Yeah. And it costs him. Well, he got in his kitchen big time. Snapped the shillelagh. How close is it? Oh, I got out. He's got it. I got out. Absolutely out. And the Padres are going to challenge this. Ball is secure. Yep, oh, yeah. He beat him. Absolutely. And indeed, he is out. So the call overturned. Padres win it. They take game one of the series. Big night for Manny Machado. A five RBI night, including a two run home run. The Padres win it 8 1.